demons have been in. I came into Birmingham, Alabama, and um, I went by my daughter house. And I, when I left there, I, I was just under great attacks by demons. Now, before I, um, I went, before that, you know, on the way out, when I was out of town, I was attacked by these demons, by these principalities. Now, I know that one of them that's attacking me name is Robert. And I know that the one, one of them that's named Eric told me he was going to break up my happy home. He promised me that I was not going to get in his way. So, in other words, he was threatening my life. I've been dealing with one named Trayvon Anderson. Just a whole slew of evil principalities. One of them, they, they are all in my car, all around me. They've been attacking me. They set my house on fire today. I had got a good bath, and the Lord blessed me today. Or I say spiritual bath, you know, and the Lord blessed me today, and they came and robbed me of my blessing today, stole my shoes off my feet, my peace. They've been in here. They, they were, they're trying to take my money, the money that God gave me, my resources. They, are, they, they have trying to take over my credit cards, my bank account, everything that I have. But the Lord rebukes you, Satan. The Lord rebukes you. Every last one of y'all. They got a lot of people working with them. One of them was um, this girl named Brittany. Um, some girl named Tasha. I don't know if she's some kid. I don't know if that's Trayvon's mother. It's just a lot of them that's been doing a whole lot of evil to me and my children. Trying to take over my children's house. My house. They are making deals with, I heard they're making deals with police officers and stuff like that. You know, nobody wants to tell the truth about them abusing my kids every day, abusing me every day. I get abused every single day. Sodomized, rape. Raped, sodomized. Demons behind me. One of them behind me sodomized me all through the night. This devil is on me. I'm talking about literally on me when I take a, a something and scratch toward my neck. You know, I can feel it moving on me. So this is principality that have glued himself on me somehow. And I want him off of me in the name of Jesus Christ. I can feel something hot all over my butt. They've been touching my breast, my vagina, raping me. Just don't treat me with no dignity. Just killing me all day long, trying to be in my car, take over my ministry, take over my business. And I'm hoping that God himself will intervene. I'm praying that the Lord of hosts will intervene and pay them all a visit. And I pray that he will release some real fire against them. Since they've been, because it's a Bible scripture that says, that same fire that you kindle against someone will be that same fire that you lay down in torment in. And I pray that they lay down in torment in that same fire. They've been doing so much evil to me and my family all these years. Ten whole years. Ten years running me back and forth out of Alabama. I can't visit my kids. Just all kinds of evil. All kinds of evil. You wouldn't even believe the stuff they've been doing to us. My kids go to college. Just evil behind evil. You wouldn't believe it. I'm praying God will intervene. In Jesus' name, amen.